Hello everyone. Let's solve this problem. We have square root of x plus x over 2 equal to x over 4. Now, this problem is going to lead to a quadratic equation and we shall have two solutions. But the second solution will not satisfy the equation. Let's take a look at it. Now, from here, the LCM of 4 and 2 is equal to 4. The first step is to multiply everything by the LCM. So we have LCM multiplied by square root of x plus LCM multiplied by x over 2. Okay, and this will be equal to the LCM multiplied by x over 4 close this. Now the next step I will do is to open this bracket. 4 times root x will have 4 root x plus 2 will go there 2 times and we have 2x. This is going to be equal to 4 cancels 4 and we have x. Now I want to take 2x to the other side so I have 4 root x plus Okay, this is equal to now we have x minus 2x, right? So that's um, 4 root x will be equal to x minus 2x and it's minus x. Now, the next thing is to divide both sides by 4. Remember what you do on one side, you have to do it on the other side. Now, this cancels this and then root x will be equal to minus x over 4. The next I will do is to remove the square root sign and it goes to the other side as it becomes square, right? Oh, by the way, we have square root of x, we'll square it and it will be equal to um, minus x over 4 and we square this. This will cancel this and x will be alone. It will be equal to minus x squared will give us x squared, positive x squared, and then 4 squared will give us 16. Now remember that if you have a problem like this and you're dealing with it, the square is for both the numerator and the, num and the, and the denominator, especially if the uh, you know in the same bracket and then from here we can cross multiply so that we'll have x squared to be equal to 16x and from here from here I will bring everything to the same side so I have x squared minus 16x to be equal to 0 Okay, now we factorize because x is common to both of them. We have x squared. Okay, it's ordinary x that will remain because one x has gone out. And then minus x has come out. So we have 16 over there. And this is equal to 0. Now it is either x is equal to 0 or x minus 16 is equal to 0. From here, x remains 0, or x is equal to 0 plus 16, and that will give us 16. Now, the next thing to be done is, okay, let's conclude. Therefore, x is equal to 0 or 16. But the question now is, which of these satisfies the equation, and which of them you know, does not satisfy the equation. Let's take a look. The original equation is root x plus x over 2 equals x over 4, right? And then in place of x, if I substitute 0, I'm going to have um, 0 plus 0 over 2 equals, okay, will this be equal to 
0 over 4? The answer is yes. On the left, we have 0, and on the right, we have um, 0, right? Okay, so we can conclude that x is equal to 0, and it satisfies the given equation. Now, let's try 16. The original equation remains square root of x plus x over 2 equals x over 4. And we got 16 for this. Do you think it will satisfy the equation? Let's give it a try. We're going to have square root of 16 plus 16 over 2. Now, will this be equal to 16 over 4? As a matter of fact, 16 over 4 is giving us 4. Will root 16 plus 16 over 2 give us 4? Okay, we can't answer that until we process. Now, 16, root 16 is giving us 4 plus 16 over 2 is giving us 8. Now, does this give us 4? The answer is no, because we are having 12 to be equal to um, 4, and this cannot be correct. So 12 cannot be equal to 4. Therefore, we cannot conclude that x equals 16 does not satisfy the equation, but x equals 0 does. And now one question you ask yourself is, did we make any mistake along the line? Let me have your answer to that in the comment section.